I am so grateful to introduce this practice, this concept, this way of digesting our emotional experience. Breath, sound, movement, and touch are simple tools. There are so many exercises within each one of these tools that you can go deeper into, but what I wanna give you today is a general understanding, a general practice on how to digest human experience. Now, in our lives, we have all sorts of input that are coming in all the time. It's like we're constantly eating food energetically. Every time you meet someone new or someone you already know, every time you receive information in the mail, email, every time we wake up and we see light into our eyes, there's a process of digestion happening in our body. Our, our eyes digest the light and make meaning around the things that we see, the energy we receive from other people. We make meaning about this energy. The energy in the world, our internal system receives it and then digests it. And one thing that we're not taught as human beings is how to intentionally digest an experience. So when we have big experiences in our life, whether they're extraordinarily joyful or hard and heavy, we as humans have not developed a rites of passage to really digest an emotional experience that is then taught on a global level. So there are different tribes, there are different traditions around the world that when they're connected to the cycles of the earth, have an understanding that when a human has a cathartic experience, when their self is jolted because the emotions are so big, there gets to be a ceremony, there gets to be an integration, there gets to be a digestion of those larger experiences. And these are often called ceremonies or rites of passage where the tribe gathers around the fire and they move, they breathe, they make sound, they touch themselves, they touch instruments, they touch the earth because that's a way to digest the experience. Imagine eating your food without a digestive tract. That's what a lot of us are trying to do through life. We're having these big emotional experiences, huge joys and huge griefs because that's what human life is no matter how spiritual or clean you get. You're going to get the big experiences that we don't know how to handle. That's the whole point of the human experience is to continue to have experiences that we don't know how to handle so we can capacitate bigger sensation as human beings. So the whole process that I want to introduce, again, just introduce BSMT or what I like to call moving the bullshit mountain, BSMT, moving what needs to move through you as an expression of your now experience. You can also use this exercise to go back in time and clear past emotions, but we're, what we're going to focus on today is primarily current emotional experience, what's currently running in the system, and how we can express that now through breath, sound, movement, and touch. And now we're going to go into the exercise. 